in one of my past videos, which is linked here below, I have shown you how to automatically upload files from Google Drive into Airtable. And we were using Integromat for that and Google Drive uh, sharing link. Unfortunately, that sharing link due to restrictions at Google's, due to some of the monitoring that they have introduced, stopped working. So I will just show you a quick fix. <laughs> Welcome to Business Automated, and this is the past scenario that uh, I've been discussing that stopped working due to the limitations on the Google Drive sharing link. So what we used to have, you can see the details for this scenario in the description and you can follow the steps up to here. But the most important part was that for uploading the files into Airtable, we need to have a URL. So the file needs to be already stored somewhere on the, on the Internet. And for that, we were basically using um, a sharing link from, uh, from Google Drive. In this case, this link has limitations, so we will do a small workaround. Instead of using direct Google Drive link, we will use a webhook from Integromat. So here I am creating a new scenario. So I will start with a webhook. And this is what's at the very end, webhook. And we will use a custom webhook. You can add a new webhook here with any name. And here you have the URL that we will be using instead. So you can do this copy address here. And when we go now to the original scenario, we'll replace this URL with URL coming from Integromat. And we will still keep the ID of the file so that Integromat webhook knows which file to download, uh, but we do not need this additional um, parameter at the end. So we can finish here. So you can see that the structure will look like this. So the URL of the webhook and then question mark and ID equals and the file ID. And we can test this for the first time. So first let's add a new file into, into here and let's start the webhook here Let's press run once so that webhook is listening. So let's add a new image here. So I have uploaded a new file. So now when I run scenario here, this scenario will notice that there is a new file and will request for this new file from, um, from the webhook. As you will see, at the moment there is nothing uploaded because we don't have a response on the webhook, but on the webhook itself, we see that this information came over here and that we have the ID of the file that we are looking for. So the next step is to add a Google Drive module. And here we will use download a file. So let's connect it afterwards. And the ID will come from the previous step. And let's click OK. And now what we need to add here is a webhook response. All right, just a second. So what we will add in here, we will, in the body of the response, we will add the data. And we need to also add one more element for Airtable to recognize what type of file it is. And it's gonna be a custom header called content type. So you need to write exactly like this content type. And as the value of the content type, we'll use the MIME type. So this is the type of the file it will be. So it will tell Airtable whether this is an image or whether this is an attachment document. Okay, so we can save this and let's run it once. We, we see that we have um, some sort of existing um, request stored over there, but we can listen for new. So that we start this from scratch and let's upload another file. The file is uploaded and now we can run this scenario one more time. You can see it has noticed that there was a new file uploaded and requested this file from our custom, custom webhook. And we can see that the scenario uh, was processed here. Um, unfortunately, the image doesn't show up straight away because uh, Airtable is actually sending multiple requests. You can see that all the other requests were sent here in a queue. Uh, so that means that they were not processed because I was running the scenario only once. So I'll just delete them. 
and what we will do, we will just turn on this scenario because it basically works, it returns all the relevant information. So now it will process multiple requests at the same time as it comes as it comes in. So that means we will be able now successfully upload the file. So let's try again with a different image. The image is uploaded. Let's run it once. After refreshing Integromat, we will see that it actually has processed two requests and there is one more that is being processed over here and the image got uploaded to Airtable. You can see Airtable is basically making multiple requests at the same time. I think it's like three requests for each, each image, but it basically works. So now we can test it with a bigger number of images. All right. And you can see that there are multiple images that are being detected and they are being added to Airtable and they are being gradually uploaded into Airtable using this Integromat webhook. And the um, only limitation on Integromat is that it's processing all the incoming requests one by one. So it will just go through every request as it comes, comes in, which means that there's a little bit of the delay with all the files coming in. And it also might happen that if you have really a lot of files at the same time, 30, 50, some of them might not upload um, because of the timeout on the Integromat and so on. So this might not be the best uh, workaround if you have really a lot of files being uploaded at the same time, but it still allows you to basically use your Google Drive without using Dropbox or any other um, file storage system and so on. So for a smaller number of files, this will work just fine. You can see all the images got uploaded correctly. Uh, yeah, but just know, be aware of that limitation. So I hope that was helpful for you. And yeah, please like and subscribe and let me know what other business automation needs you guys have. Cheers.